This is HTP's newest welder, the Inverting 221H. It's an AC-DC TIG machine, has a lot of features, it's extremely small, got a very small footprint. It weighs in at an astounding 40 pounds. This machine is about the size of a briefcase, and yet it has capabilities of machines that years ago were 10 times the size, 20 times the size. So we're going to go through uh, some of the features right off the bat. I'm going to show you. It's got a nice little protective cover there. Taking a look at the front panel, you can see that everything is laid out right where you need it, right at your fingertips. You've got a center knob there that adjusts your amperage, and you can see this machine works from 4 amps all the way up to 220 amps, which gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. You can weld extremely thin sheet metal right on up to fairly heavy sections. Uh, anything other than that, a machine this size will handle 99% of anything you're going to do in your shop. What I'd like to do now is take you through some of the features of the HTP Inverting 221H AC-DC TIG machine. And this way you can see the capabilities that this machine has and how it will fit into your fabrication needs. So we'll get started right away. Okay, here's the box. Uh, this is the machine itself, and for a scale comparison, I've got one of HTP's Stryker Digital helmets there. You can see this machine is literally the size of a briefcase. And to be able to have from 4 amps all the way up to 220 amps in a package this small, well, that just makes it a lot easier to put into your shop no matter what the size. This thing is not a big monster machine. It's not going to take up a lot of room. And when you find out what it'll run on, a uh, regular 220 line single phase on a 30 amp breaker, you're never going to pop a breaker with this machine. We've used this machine for over a year in our shop daily. Every single day we've hammered this machine 8, 10 hours a day, sometimes more when we've had big projects. And it has never missed a beat, never hiccuped, never given us one minute's problems. Uh, typical HTP reliability and uh, it's built like a tank even though it's small this thing you can just tell looking at it when you pick it up this is rock solid I really like a lot of the features and I'd like to show you some of them right now now we're going to take a look at the front panel here and I'm just going to go over a couple of things right off the bat this center knob this is your amperage adjustment and as I said before you can run it down as low as 4 amps and all the way up as high as 220. Now that in itself is pretty impressive. You have a high frequency which you can turn on and off. Now this is something that is good in certain instances if you're working anywhere there's sensitive electronics. Uh, they always use the example of if you're working in a hospital uh, you can't have the high frequency. It can interfere with electronic instrumentation, pacemakers, that sort of thing. Uh, you would turn the high frequency off and then this becomes a lift arc start. So what you would do is you touch the tungsten to the work, hit the pedal and lift the tungsten off and your arc would start. 99% of the time you're not going to have to worry about that because not many of us are actually welding in hospitals. So we just leave our high frequency on. It's got several different modes. Uh, right here the mode button and it'll tell you what you're at. This is TIG. This is the 4T. Now that's very popular in Europe, not too popular here, but the machine is capable of running in the 4T mode. That would be a torch that has an on-off switch on it. I'm not going to get into that, but the machine's capable of running 4T. Also, you can set up TIG spot, and that will allow you to set a spot welding time. You hit the pedal, it lights the torch for a specific amount of time, and then shuts itself off. Again. I don't use that. Uh, I just kind of crank my amperage all the way up, but some people, if they're doing a lot of work, repetitive work, and they want it to be exactly the same, this is a great feature. Stick, you can change this over to running a stick welding out of this. Uh, it gives it a little extra versatility, but for the most part, we're buying this machine because it's a TIG welder, and we're going to leave it on the 2T. That's the standard. Okay, over here you have a volt window, also that'll show you your balance at times, and your frequency. Now that's an AC. I've got the AC on now. I can turn the AC off just by simply holding the button. You can pulse on DC. Your pulse frequency is showing. Right now I've got it three and a half. 
it'll pulse down 0.4 which is really basically off there's no pulse there and on DC this machine will pulse all the way up to 999 cycles per second that will sound like uh, a B in your ear if you light up at that kind of frequency but you may need to do that you may need to have that capability now on AC if we turn AC on you'll see the light will come on with AC and we can hit our pulse frequency now the max on AC is 10 alright and that would be 10 pulses per second most people are going to run anywhere between 1 and 5 uh, 1 is good when you're really learning how to dip your rod it gives you that dot 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 kind of cadence and that allows you to kind of time the uh, rod being dipped into the puddle very helpful when people are learning how to weld you'll use it for other things as you get more proficient but most of you already know about that if you don't look up pulse welding or pulse TIG but basically that allows you to uh, set up the torch in such a way that your bead is very consistent and very equal and nicely spaced and you get that stack of dimes that everybody's looking for and it's a lot easier uh, to do it that way than to do it the old-fashioned way which is by doing it manually okay on AC if we push the AC FAC that's our frequency and we can run our frequency the old days you only got 60 cycles that was it 60 was what you could get on your frequency because that's what the machine ran at nowadays with these inverter machines you can adjust your frequency from 20 all the way up to 200 on AC and that will definitely allow you to work very thin metals uh, focus the arc and just basically be more uh, precise in your welding something that you have to determine on your own is something that you'll have to find your own personal preferences and when you do find your personal preferences you can store them this machine has 99 memories if I'm not mistaken I could be mistaken it could have 60 memories but don't hold me to it all I know is it's got more memories than you're ever going to use and you can store a job you can turn around and say okay I want uh, 125 amps and I want my frequency to be 160 right there let's see 160 and I want my balance to be 75 now that's a job that I like I want to run 125 amps 160 on the frequency and 75 on my balance I'm gonna store my job program one you can go all the way up okay 64 memories there you go uh, so I want to store that as program one I come over here to store job and I hold it till it beeps twice and that job is stored now down through the day I change things around and I want to uh, run some stuff at 80 amps I change my parameters I can come back here and say retrieve the job simply by holding these two buttons down program one and set job two beeps and I'm back to my original as you can see 160 125 amps 160 cycles frequency and it was showing 75 on my balance so there you have it that's another uh, nice feature of this machine you can set on pulse you can set your slope down you can set your low end uh, for pulse now we're we've got at low end we're running 39 percent there uh, some people run about 50 percent and what that does is if you're welding at 100 amps on pulse and you set your low range at 50 percent when it cycles down it'll cycle from 100 amps down to 50 amps and that allows you to freeze that puddle and get that stack of dimes look that everybody likes it uh, helps in a lot of ways especially new guys coming in they'll uh, they'll find that the pulse helps them uh, get their cadence down and not burn through quite so easily but again something that you have to do a little bit of homework on your own